Welcome to my channel. This is Code Pal. For today's video, I'll be teaching you about variables. In my last video, I showed you how to print something. For instance, if I wanted to print my name is Code Pal, I could hard code it and use the print function to print it. However, I can use variables and print function to print the same thing. For my variable, I need to give it a name and set that equal to something. So in my particular case, I can choose to make, call my variable name and set that equal to a string called CodePal. And when I choose to print something like this using variables, I achieve the same thing as I would if I had to hard code it. So in my case, the name is the variable and then it's equal to CodePal, which is my string. So when I head on to terminal and I run it, I would do Python 3 and then I would have to define my path. So in my case, it would be variables.py. When I do that, I get two lines. One is a hard-coded response and the other is using variables. Another thing I can do is change the name of my variable. So instead of code pal, I can change that to pal code. And when I'm going to head on to terminal and run it, I'm going to get something different. So I'm going to get my name is code pal, which is a hard coded one, and my name is pal code that is using variables. I can create variables that are numbers. For instance, I can create a variable called x equal to 5, y equal to 12, z equal to x, which is another variable. I can also create another variable called total, which would equal to x plus y plus z. The key learning here is that I can do arithmetic like addition, subtraction, division using variables. I'm going to now add comments to my script. For instance, I define z to be equal to x, which is equal to 5. Therefore, z is equal to 5. My total would be x plus y plus z, meaning 5 plus 12 plus 5, which is 22. I'm now going to print the values of each of my variable and run this file to show you what happens. I'm printing out value of y is equal to numeric value slash output of my variable y. I do the same for the rest of my variables. When I head on to terminal and run this, I get an error. Why do I get an error? I get an error because my numbers are integers and characters are strings. I need to be able to convert my integer values into string so that I can prevent this error because in the print function, I can't equate a numeric variable to a string variable. And I am right now correcting that, so I'm adding, uh, I'm changing my numeric variables into string variables. Once I do that and run this file, I shouldn't get an error. Once I run that, my error was solved because I converted all my numeric variables into string variables. Now I'm going to introduce another type of variable, Boolean. Boolean can take on only two values. Either it can be true or it can be false. I'm going to create a Boolean variable and we'll name that static and I'll set that equal to true. I'll call the print function and we'll print the value of static. When I print, I can only concatenate the same type of variable. Therefore, I need to convert Boolean into string so I can print. I'll convert true from a boolean into a string so that I can print it. Also, I can change the value of status to false. This will change my output. Booleans are primarily used in logic. I can go to terminal and run my file and I'll get the boolean values printed. I'm going to introduce another type of variable, list. Lists can store a ordered sequence of elements. I'm going to create a list of fruits. This list is going to include various elements, such as apples, oranges, 
bananas, and mangoes. I can use the print function and call my list and print it. I can also create multiple lists that are stored in one list. I'll demonstrate that by creating another list called new list, which is made of several lists of numeric values. List is made of three lists that each have three values. I'm going to print both the fruits list and the new list. And when I run that in terminal, I will get the response. So I get all four elements that are stored in fruits and the three lists that are stored in new list. I can also find the length of the list. I'll use the print function and len len, which will print the length of a string or a list. When I call len for fruits or new list, I'll get four and three respectively. Four because my list, fruits, is made of four elements, apples, oranges, bananas, and mangoes. And my list, new list, is made of three individual lists, which each have three numbers. When I head to terminal and run my file, that's exactly what I'm going to get. I'm going to get a length of four for my list fruits and a length of three for my list new list. Now I'm going to introduce index. I'm going to start with introducing a variable called car and I'm setting that equal to hot wheels. First, I'll print the length of this output string, which would give me nine as there are nine positions, H, O, T, W, H, E, E, L, S is nine letters long. I wanted to print the third value, so T, I would put three minus one or two at the index as the index in Python starts with zero. When I go to the output and run it, I'll get T. To add another example, if I wanted to print H, I would do index zero. Now let's say I wanted to get the length of a list that is inside another list. I can do that as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that with the new list example from earlier. I'm going to start off by adding a value of five to the first list in new list. Then I'm going to follow that with printing the length of list for new list. And I'm also going to print the length of the first list in new list. When I head to terminal and run this, I should get a value of three and four respectively. There are three lists stored in new list and there are four values stored in the first list of new list. Thank you so much for watching today's video. This is CodePal signing out.